Legends tell of a miraculous drug that can develop one's brain power to 100%, transforming an ordinary brain into the most powerful one. It enables one to instantly count all the hairs on a person's head. Remember every word from a primary school textbook. Learn all the moves from a kung fu movie just by watching it once. Never feel downhearted or procrastinate, and completely eliminates negative energy. This miraculous drug often manifests in the life of the most unsuccessful loser. And yes, that's him, Eddie, a middle-aged failed writer who can't seem to write anything. One day, as he wanders the streets, he bumps into his ex-wife's brother, who claims to have become a consultant for a mysterious pharmaceutical company. He then takes out a transparent little pill, saying, this is our new drug, incredibly powerful, $800 a piece, but I'll give it to you for free. Eddie takes it, thinking there's no harm in not paying for it, unaware that the other party wants to get him hooked. Once home, Eddie, unable to contain his curiosity, swallows the pill. Just as he does, his young and beautiful landlord comes to demand the rent, pressing him incessantly. Eddie, already having a headache, suddenly finds the drug taking effect, his brain functioning at full speed, and the world becomes clear and bright. He notices every detail of the girl, even the subtle sounds become clear. Then, with shining eyes and brimming confidence, he says to her, I know something's bothering you, is it because of a paper? The girl, surprised, asks, how do you know I'm writing a paper? Eddie replies, I saw the book of ancient laws in your bag, just seeing a corner of it. He remembered skimming through this book once, 12 years ago, and now he recall its entire content. He then starts to share the plethora of knowledge popping into his head to help her with her paper, and immediately, her attitude towards him changes completely. Her expression softens, and she even begins to smile. With his supercharged brain power, Eddie easily helps her finish the paper, and ultimately, they end up in bed. Returning home, Eddie finds his room in a mess but feels energized, starts cleaning, washing dishes, taking out the trash, and tidying up the furniture, quickly turning his trashy home into a model apartment. He begins writing a novel, his thoughts flowing like a fountain, like a tsunami. However, the next day, when he wakes up, the effects of the drug have worn off, and Eddie feels a bit unwell. He takes the manuscript he wrote last night to a publisher, who is immensely shocked and makes numerous calls begging him to continue writing. But what next? He needs the miraculous drug again. Eddie goes to his brother-in-law's house, but to his horror, he finds that his brother-in-law has died. Eddie is terrified. Looking around the messy house, he suddenly thinks that the murderer must have come for the miraculous drug, wondering if it's still there. Eddie searches through boxes and cabinets, and fate once again favors him, leading him to find a whole big bag of the drug by a stroke of luck.